Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, we'll be doing an audio commentary over my client Cindy Tran's meet performance this past weekend at the drug tested Legion Sports World Cup. So Cindy competed in the 75 kg class in both the open and junior divisions, right? Uh, so what you just saw was her first attempt squat that was 297 pounds. This right here is going to be her second attempt squat of 315 pounds. Well, 314 uh, and some change, right? Because this is in kilos. But yeah, for all the, uh, you know, commercial gym viewers, this is three plates. So just imagine a fucking girl loading up three plates and squatting your max, dude. Isn't that sick? But, uh, and this attempt here is 330. Uh, this was to secure an all-time PR, right? So the state record was 336 pounds. And originally, I wanted us to take that as a fourth attempt to break the state record, and I just wanted to secure a PR and add to the total here on the third. So, 330 here was already a PR, but unfortunately, they didn't let us take a fourth attempt because this was a world level meet, and it ended up being the case that you can't use a fourth attempt to break a state record. So, they didn't let us take that fourth attempt. Uh, otherwise, we would have tried to chip it at 337 pounds, just add a little bit and uh, secure that record, which I'm sure she had in the tank. Regardless, we still went 3 out of 3 and hit an all-time squat PR, so definitely still a huge win for us as far as our squat performance. So next up, we had bench, and Cindy's bench is actually insane. Uh, it's probably her best lift, I would say, but that's a little bit of a hard distinction to make because all her lifts are actually really good. So bench was essentially the most important lift of the day because it's the reason we signed up for this world level meet in particular. In July, she set the world bench record at 176 pounds and she took 181, successfully moved it, but we didn't get the attempt approved because uh, we got called for lifting of the butt, right? So two reds on that and we happened to not uh, get the call. However, here it is, 181 here, uh, successful and easy on her second attempt. So she already retook the record, reset the record there at 181. And at this point, we already got what we came for, right? Uh, redemption on that 181 that we didn't get approved at Nationals. So at this point, we're just trying to get more, add to the total, set the record even higher. And that's exactly what we did. So third attempt, we took 187, another all-time PR at this point, allowing us to set the record even higher. And lastly, we took our fourth attempt on bench, which was eligible for a fourth attempt, of course, since it was a world record. So before we even actually got to take the attempt, there was a huge mix-up at the table and on the monitors. There was another athlete there competing named Sydney, but our Cindy was the only one that was actually taking a fourth attempt, even though they had Sydney's name up on the screen. So it was just this weird mix-up that sort of threw off our momentum. And it actually took them a, a long time to figure it out, maybe like three to five minutes. But fortunately, that didn't throw Cindy off. Uh, she handled it like a champ, didn't let it get in her head or throw her off at all. And we took this 192 for a nice and smooth uh, fourth attempt with clearly plenty in the tank. She might have even had 200 on this day. All right, and lastly, we had deadlift. So. Deadlift was the only one that didn't quite go in our favor. It was just the kind of case where Cindy was starting to fade and get gassed out from the length of the day. Uh, everything was still feeling good. Warm-ups were still feeling good uh, up till the very last warm-up. Unfortunately, we couldn't move our opener down because it was too close to the start of the flight. So they wouldn't have let us move the opener down. But 352 here was her first attempt. You'll see that the bar comes off the floor very quickly, but there was a bit of a balance issue on lockout. So we got a little bit of downward movement and we didn't get the lift approved, right? Two reds. So we took it again for the second attempt. Uh, I told her in the back to slow down, take your time off the ground. It doesn't matter if the bar breaks the ground slowly. What matters is that we stay patient, stay consistent, hold on to our position and maintain that balance as we lock out, right? We want that smooth lockout. We want that transition between breaking the ground and lockout to be smooth. So even if things slow down a little, if it's smoother, we won't have a balance issue. So you'll see here that we smoothly completed the lift with no issues, three whites, and that put us on the board for deadlift, right? And at this point, I was happy because there was no longer any risk of bombing out. And just by getting this deadlift, we already secured a total PR. So at this point, I wanted to take 375 for our third attempt, right? And that would have secured a meat PR on deadlift and add it to our total PR even more, right?
but Cindy really wanted 385 so even though I called 375 in the back she asked if we could move up to 385 and I was like how about we keep it here and she said no I want 385 and I said how about 380 and she said no I want 385 and she was just very adamant about it uh, and even Mark her boyfriend was like no just give it to her or she'll be upset I said okay all right so I went to the judges table and moved up the attempt to 385 and as you guys can see it, is, it was very very close all the strength was there there was just the tiniest bit of downward motion that you'll see on her right side and unfortunately it was caught by two judges so we got two reds and one white right uh, and it was the kind of case where we missed it on an unlucky call not because of a lack of strength so we took it as a gym PR it would have been great if we could have put that down on paper as an all-time uh, meet PR as well uh, but we still walked away with a total PR PRs on bench uh, PRs on squat uh, world records on bench and yeah, overall still a very good meet, great performance, and tons of progress. So congrats to Cindy, great job, and we are all very proud of you. Lastly guys, just want to say a huge thanks to the team and everyone else who came to support. Uh, big shout out to Tyler and to JP for recording, getting all this footage guys. And yeah, thanks to everyone who watched this video. Here's a little filler footage of the team coming up on like 100 plus reigns at the expo. But that's going to be it for this one guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.